Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming, and today we are concluding uh, part eight of God of War. Yes, there's a series of ways I could have done this uh, to make it a lot more coherent and a lot more consistent. However, I was not able to do so. Therefore, I decided to go ahead and uh, extend uh, part eight into two parts uh, so that we can have a sentiment of consistency, right? <laughs> but um, before uh, you guys get started, if you're not a member of the channel or if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment in the comment section. Uh, please give me a like and enjoy. Um, um, you know, in 2011, that game was severely knocked for Kratos being angry. <laughs> it was, uh, it, it was pathetic. Varg isn't happy about us taking the stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. And I wouldn't call out those entities for um, you know, saying those things about God of War 3 because, you know, looking back on it, God of War 3 is a classic. I mean, <laughs> that's, I, don't, I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Uh, but, you know, I remember them giving it a 7. <laughs> 7. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't critically acclaimed. But I think gamers knew they had a classic on their hands. I mean, every time I show it to a buddy of mine or anything like that, uh, they put me not. Even if they didn't like the game, they had to admit that those were uh, pristine. Uh, those were pristine uh, uh, you know, graphics and storytelling in that game. I think that that game really pulled it off as far as as giving it form as you know giving it polish as giving it everything that a classic needs I think that's the best word for it everything that a classic needs and you know uh, I think this game is a classic in its own right uh, I see up there. in my opinion I honestly believe that I think this game is a classic in its own right and I think the sales Sad. dictate that I mean is of you know, no three million in three days is uh, an accomplishment so uh, and Detroit become human don't hold a candle to this. He did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. You cannot be trusted. Go! 
It's that ring, boy. I don't know how. And a traveler. Guard up.
tough fight. Ooh, a dead soul. What's a soul leader even doing? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. Workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Behind you! Oh, no. 
yeah, I played this level before on the PS4 Pro that's in my living room, and I remember this part being so needlessly hard. Now, of course, I'm a lot stronger on this one, uh, but I just remember that this part was achingly bad, and I had just finished completing the, um, the Alheim or whatever, whatever this level you want to call it, but, um, yeah, I just finished completing the Alheim level, and, yeah, I just thought this part was a little bit on the hard side, I mean, you can see me right now, I got everything going, I got, you know, all the powers, and the health is, is darn near up to the max, and, it's still this part was challenging. I mean, uh, got the, um, I think I have uh, one of the better weapons for Atreus. And again, like I said, I thought this level, this part right here in particular, uh, it took me several, several times to be in. So you can tell had I not had some of the weaponry that I had, I probably took me a whole lot more times again, so uh, I, I was a little bit disappointed in this section of the game, but it's a section you don't have to go to, so I wouldn't give it a mark down for that, but, you know, even with that, I would still say that uh, this is probably needs to be a little lower on a difficulty scale. Now, that's not saying that... Uh, you know, some people like this level. I mean, some people may like this level, and that's fine. But you know, I didn't, I didn't find it particularly uh, gratifying, being that it was, it's just so difficult. Um, even though you see me kind of blow through them, I did take some hits, and I just felt like at this point of the game, I should have been a lot stronger. So, uh, but it may be a user error, right? <laughs> Is a fine hammer. Invari says thank you. Can we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. To find that ham here, the alchemist hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, I'm very always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here, and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra. Hmm? You don't want it, Father? We can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful. I promise. <sighs> Fine. So long as he proves his worth. But you know, now that I think about it, 
in this level of defense I would say that the weapon that you get especially if you tackle this level earlier in the game like I did on my PlayStation Pro I honestly believe that you can argue that the weapon that you get is pretty good so uh, so you know I may uh, may have to retract the difficulty part of it because <clears throat> even it, with it being difficulty the weapon you get is pretty much off the charts so um, and uh, I haven't had a chance to beat the PS4 Pro version yet but it's not a bad idea for me to have gotten that weapon on the PS4 Pro versus waiting to the end of the game like I did on here Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Neighbor spikes to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Tree. We're 
underneath the road travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Oh, huh. right next to the Yodanon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like a more giant art. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look! We're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving! What's moving? Everything! <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All Do right! You... What now? this one? Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says boy. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. If you mean to break those chains, I'm afraid you'll need to go see to it personally.
sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Again with the death traps. So I know around this time some of you guys are veterans of the game and <clears throat> some of you guys may like this part I have to be honest with you these um, puzzles I guess you want to call it um, I mean I'm gonna be honest with you man they could have left that out now I'm not saying that this is foreign to God of War but you know some of those puzzle pieces that you see on the first God of War you know they weren't that bad I mean you may have died like 10 times on that portion of it but it was like you know kind of coddled to one section of the game where in this part they try to bring it or reprise it like too many times in my opinion and I think we just could have you know went without it now don't get me wrong it's not a bad puzzle I mean it's not a puzzle that's unsolvable because um, as you can see me thumbling, fumbling myself around it uh, towards uh, this portion of the game I was pretty much used to them but all in all I could have dealt without seeing this again maybe once but not twice So uh, write and let me know um, if you like the flip transition. Uh, I try to keep this uh, kind of a transformation or transformer type theme. And uh, think about adding other sound effects uh, to the channel. So um, let me know uh, in the comments how you think the co uh, channel is coming along. Don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm.
time to do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us. Now we can decipher those new flying rings. And the travel rune is here too. You wanna go? You know, I just want to comment right here real quick. Do you know how strong you have to be from your pectoral muscles <laughs> to do something like that? I mean, my God. I mean, he's coming from the top and pushing out. So, I don't know. Just thought I needed to comment on that, man. I, I mean, my goodness. I mean, he's coming from the top. I don't know anyone who's strong enough to push something like that out from the top. I mean, my goodness. But, I digress.
so I can't lie this is the part uh, that uh, really got me kind of frustrated because and it's not because I died a lot uh, but it's just because it, I, I just felt like right here I mean maybe I don't know maybe my thoughts were that this is not the area to have a fight like this <laughs> and I guess you know in the developers mind they're probably thinking oh yeah we got them you know if we have a fight right here we got them but in my opinion I'm like man we do not need a fight right here especially with all this stuff going on but to the developers credit and to you know the engineers I would say that they did a pretty good job of keeping it pretty consistent now I don't have a frame graph and I'm not going to have one and study you know I don't know different sections of the game that may have slowed down or whatever to me it ran pretty good and you know even though this was at 30 frames per second you know I have to be totally honest with you man you know like I was playing it mostly at 60 frames per second in my living room and yes you do see a dramatic difference in the quality of uh, the graphics and the, as far as you know seeing it in fast motion and things like that uh, there's a difference at 60 frames per second not a lot but there is a difference particularly at the end now I haven't been toward the end on my PlayStation 4 Pro in the living room but I have been uh, in uh, uh, the God of War on my uh, original um, uh, the original version of the PS4 Pro or the the standard version not a standard model whatever you want to call it but the point is is that um, uh, yeah you know I would like to see the performance on the PS4 Pro toward the end because the PS4 Pro the PS4 that's in my bedroom um, really struggled toward the end I mean like it was embarrassingly struggle as far as you know performance was concerned so I don't know man uh, I don't know I have to probably say that uh, yeah it'd be nice if they could fix that <laughs> but uh, I want to see the performance on the PS4 Pro in the living room uh, you know because it may be a situation where you just need a PS4 Pro for those type of graphics uh, toward the end but uh, I don't know maybe you'll see it on here maybe I can point them out on here and show you how bad they were but they the performance was really bad uh, on the uh, initial version of this at the end Really do hate this part. I know.
can't believe we're so close. I, for one, never doubted. Right. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. No. They're just waiting for us.
sir. Time to flip the temple. Yes, sir. Flip. Just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. An army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. I just want to comment on this real quick. Uh, because this right here is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that just that don't make this less cold, but man, oh man! Hey, and then he said, "Look, move those legs. Use your legs." <laughs> oh man! Yeah, man. Hey, this part is ridiculous. Be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? It means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! Huh. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbler's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. 
He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. You're saying Tyr Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the World Tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path to Jotunheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? and me got a new project, now that we're on speaking terms. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Grog and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here. A Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim Realm Tower. Large... When you see it. The Huldra brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Good. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the world tree just yet. In due time, boy. Uh, really? This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. So right here, um, I usually fast forward through these uh, maps and stuff like that, uh, but uh, right here I'm trying to get to a certain part of the game and I realized that I need to go ahead and use the boat. Now I have beat this game. Uh, I'm ready to do the review for it and I have to be totally 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 honest with you <sighs> I'm just not necessarily seeing how you can use that gateway uh, in the way that they want you to use it and the reason why I say that is because you know whether you've been to a specific part of the game or not I mean man you just aren't able to use that gate unless the game is asking you to and I'm gonna be honest with you that part right there is a little bit frustrating now some people may say hey you know that's a little bit uh, on the sensitive side I guess and you might be right <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, maybe I'm picking that split it hers or whatever but 
I don't know. That's just my opinion, man. I just think that that is so stupid that I could not use that uh, portal to go to where I needed to go because that was nothing on I'm the map that said I could go there except for yeah, it didn't light up <laughs> and, and you know uh, that may be a good excuse there may be some type of gameplay element that I'm missing I just think you should be able to use those if you're doing a side mission uh, instead of just doing the main mission and Here. waiting for them to tell to you you can lines? use it. I mean, I just well, I do. don't believe that every that life. is a he proper way to, to make a uh, have you a gameplay element like you that portal in the game. I mean, I would have loved to not have I, uh, had to use my boat to travel all the way over there like that. But... At the same time, Mystic you know, they want knowledge. you to hear those stories in the boat, so they're probably trying to force you there, but at the same time, in my mind, I'm thinking, man, get that thing working, we can hear that on the boat when we play after we beat the game. I used to think he never caught on, but the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been seen. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Now, here is one of those levels where you're like, did I really enjoy that? <laughs> now, I, I assure you, if I went through this part of the game again, I would probably be a lot better at it. But again, those uh, elves, I guess that's what they are. I'm not sure what they are, what, what, the, what they're called because I don't have it in front of my face but I think they're called elves but anyway those things like those are the most frustrating things you could ever imagine and I'm not necessarily sure why they gave them such a speed advantage to me all the creatures on here got a speed advantage but especially those elves because you know, hey, they don't have to complete a move, they can cancel a move out, they can come out, sure they can they can dart at you, further. they can give you some type of There's spell that can make you kind of blind, but uh, kind of you'll definitely see it toward the end. Um, I may speed some of this up, I may not, uh, because some of the traversal is kind of, uh, you know, uh, might be a situation where you need to Let's go ahead and um, stand and look and see how to get through uh, some of the areas because uh, yeah I mean uh, you can definitely get kind of uh, bogged down but there are some other places that I could probably use this fast motion so we'll see we'll try to get you through here without uh, have you traversing back and forth uh, because you know, I I do realize that by you playing the game and you trying to figure it out, yeah, that may be fine. But if you already played the game, or you know, you you're just looking to get to a certain part, I can see how that could be um, 
kind of are hard on the eyes to see somebody messing up on the same portion over and over and over again until they figure it out. So yeah, we'll definitely try to compact some of the Ultraverse through this level. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. And again, this is a side mission, so... This place is huge. I wouldn't say, hey, you know, you have to come through this. I just decided to go through it because uh, it's um, it, it, it was a goal of mine to beat this level. Uh, so that you can also see most of the side missions. There's probably other side missions that you can probably uh, do that will give you a significant portion of energy or power up or whatever. But I also... Uh, you know, like, and some of those I was able to come across, and some of them I wasn't. But uh, you know, I, I would I would say that um, you know, not all of the side missions need to be uh, um, used and figured out, and uh, needs to be solved in order to beat this game because. Uh, the reality of the matter is, is that uh, you know these side missions uh, are for people who want to you know level up pretty pretty high. Uh, but um, you know, I think at the same time you're going to be able to beat the game regardless because uh, this is a type of game that. Um, that uh, if you play it on normal level, that you, I mean, yes, you will uh, be some places where you need to start over, over and over again. But for the most part, you can get pretty much get through it, especially if you can get through these side missions. I mean, if you can get through the side missions, you can get through the missions that are in the game. So uh, I would say the best thing for you to do is to make sure that you have a large enough level of health. Uh, because that is very important and that you get all the armors that may be on your way through the regular side quests but again I wouldn't break my neck for these side quests because a lot of them don't need to be uh, traversed
That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. It needs three entry stones. ways to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter.
this dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to free it. So some of you may be like, wow, uh, Al, you you struggling with these uh, underground monsters. Man, on this level, they are really tough because the problem is is that you can't use your axe. Because if you use your axe, you're going to have to be closed. And if you kill them while you close, they ain't going to do nothing but spit out some poison and you, while you're damaging them or whatever you're going to be damaging yourself so uh, you know those underground things are extremely difficult and a lot of times you have to use uh, uh, Atreus and you know then they got these guys from up top and man this, this, this level is very very frustrating so uh, and I'm not crying about it. I mean, you know, it's 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 it's, it's great. You know, it's great. Um, but um, they got some nice puzzles on here to solve. It's just some of the enemies were top notch. So that would be my takeaway from this level um, because there's a lot of good things about this level and there's a lot of bad things about this level. And so um, again. I'm not going to take you through all the dreads of me dying over and over again, especially on that elf part. But what? Um, but I do want to show you a specific puzzle on this level that I thought was pretty interesting uh, because uh, the puzzle was a lot easier than what I initially thought. So. Uh, I think that'll be a good puzzle for you guys uh, who's watching the video to uh, analyze and see that uh, you know you don't have to uh, make the same mistake that I I, that I made because the pu the puzzle is a lot easier than um, than you would originally originally think. So uh, enjoy.
So yeah, after digging and digging and digging and digging and trying to find <laughs> this uh, uh, this clip, <laughs> um, yes, um, that part was definitely one of the most frustrating parts uh, out of all the side quests. Uh, and there's been some pretty frustrating ones. I don't want to say this one was the most frustrating. But uh, I would have to put it definitely in the top 10. Uh, but uh, without, with, uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, uh, we got a couple more hurdles to go. And I do want to... Uh, talk about some of those hurdles that we have to overcome uh, because um, some of them need to be discussed and analyzed and others need to be um, uh, need to be remembered uh, and uh, uh, by those who maybe haven't played the game yet uh, but uh, this is a really good sample case of um, being frustrated and also um, and uh, also a lesson in traversing this level because this level can can be uh, definitely frustrating. The side quest, rather, I keep calling this level a side quest. You can tell I'm from the old school, right? <laughs> but yeah, this side quest uh, can be quite. Uh, infuriating actually so um, with that being said um, 
will continue to play but um, if I come when I come up to the part where we're ready to go ahead and start um, working on those um, those puzzles that are in uh, this section of the game I think uh, we're going to do a fast forward uh, so that you guys can see kind of my thought process and at the same time uh, <laughs> you know, uh, not sacrifice your whole life to, uh, uh, to this, um, to this portion of the game, because believe it or not, uh, this is one of the longer side quests, but, uh, uh, kind of rewarding, because you do get some cool weapons, but, um, uh, some cool items, but, uh, not necessarily noteworthy, so uh, and I can't remember <laughs> which side quest uh, you're supposed to have gotten. So, um, uh, what this side quest uh, supposed to uh, offer you, but um, yeah, those um, wolves were very frustrating, uh, but I got through them in one take, so uh, that's awesome. Uh, but uh, I think the the part where um, I need to uh, start um, uh, uh, solving puzzles is coming up fast so uh, hopefully you'll be able to decipher uh, what's going on I'm not going to try to run it too fast but I do want to get through this so uh, enjoy And there we go. Um, yeah, I think I finally figured it out right here. So, didn't take me too long, but it did take me a little while to figure it out.
Here we go! Why did the Dwarf King want this armor so badly? What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the Dave Grafica. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Still won't open? Looks like we need three.
Okay. Here we go. Huh. It's kind of run down in here. What did you expect? I don't know. Less ruin, I guess? Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Left o They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! There's a passage behind this throne. A secret passage? Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. 
I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you should... be talking to a severed head.
then I think around this time is when Al is starting to get it. So, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, it was a long time coming because I really didn't understand what I should be doing at that time. But I think around a couple more tries from now, I, I really start to really understand what's going on. So, um, uh, and it's important to, uh, to, you know, show those methodologies and how you approach stuff because, you know, that's good for you in the future, you know, and I, I honestly believe that and, um, just understanding how to, um, solve these puzzles and how to, uh, really get, uh, get it all down and make sure that, uh, uh, make sure that, uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, every, everything is, uh, where it needs to be at and so, um, you know, and, and some people may say, well, you know, that's the most stupidest thing, it was most obvious to me, but, um, you know, some people hard, were not able to solve this puzzle, so I do think uh, videos like these do solve multi-purposes, but, you know, at the heart, uh, this is an uh, uh, analyst and a uh, playthrough uh, type of scenario, so, um, yeah, glad to solve it. And I remember my mind state at the time was, man, I just need to kill one of them. <laughs> because you can have like a, a whole bunch of them. Like you can have like maybe one of them. But if you have a whole bunch of them, it's just not going to work out. You're probably going to die. Uh, unless you got blocking down to the science. And that's another issue on this game, the blocking on here so slow uh, you know everything Kratos does is so slow and it gets aggravated but uh, we do make it out of here because I lower them out and uh, kind of wait for some of my health to build up um, but um, you know and a lot of these man you know you gotta let the boy kind of go because um, he does a really good job uh, with uh, helping you out, and um, I think actually uh, he kills him right here. So, uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, it was a better strategy than the strategy I used at first. Uh, the first time I used brute force, uh, thinking that my armor would protect me. And that was not the case. But fortunately, I was able to complete this part. Um, so, um, I was able to actually master the whole level. So, or the whole side quests, rather.
Atreus, here. Yes, father.
you found the legendary materials? Sometimes the... Where shall we begin? Oh, that's fine. I'm always happy just to chat. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great! Look! The tower! I knew there was something down here! Amazing! How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between! Clever old tear! Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that! It's not like you'd go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak! But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. it smells like Nifo. Whoa! No, Whoa. this is considerably worse. <laughs> 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 Oh no! 
so yeah, uh, this is the part where I felt like, okay, this was the grand finale, and, you know, they just, this was just, to me, an, an excuse to have you fight, you know, uh, a climax of enemies, and I'm not going to say that I didn't enjoy playing this part, because every time I got to use the Blades of Chaos, uh, I was uh, very enthused and very delighted to do so. But with that being said, I do believe that sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. And I think that in this scenario, I do believe that uh, we are in a situation where, you know, uh, we had too much of a good thing and, and maybe it's because okay well Alex you played a whole bunch of side quests and as soon as you came off a of side quest you got needed, uh, greeted with this uh, part of the game and you can argue that hey you know I, I, I actually believe that uh, I'm not actually drinking the Kool-Aid on that you know it's just that I don't know man um I'm just giving you what I was thinking, and I think too much of these guys right here, uh, really, I, I mean, you know, to me, they're, they're my least favorite, favorite, uh, how would I put this, least favorite, uh, enemy to, you know, encounter, I guess, throughout the game, so, yeah, um, you know, and it's because of that s silliness, you know, and Kratos is just not able, you know, and, 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 you know, I guess I could never really be like a grandmaster at this game because I don't have a lot of time to play it, so, um, and this game is kind of long, if you go through most of that side quest, uh, you're going to spend up to 15, 20 hours playing this game, so, uh, uh, that being said, uh, uh, you know, uh, I think that, uh, you know, it, to me, if they would have left this part out of the game, uh, you know, I don't think it would have any significance, uh, because you do get that final boss fight, um, and, um, I think that's a lot more satisfying than this. Oh dear, here they come. Rope is up.
back in Midgar. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. Look right beaming. They found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so so Nanya? Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. Nothing else we can do for you? No, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now. Let us get back to work before I get sentimental. You better not be fighting with your brother again. Just cause he's got a little so this is the portion of the game that I made some oh, yeah. errors in well, you trying to, Showed it to me. You see, and I uh, overextend myself as far as uh, taking video, but. Well, it was only a few minutes, I want to say. Uh, basically, what happened was is that I went off to go to Jotunheim, and the problem was was that I didn't have the proper materials to go back through the realm due to all of the uh, other stuff that had happened earlier. So, without having to go through that storyline again, uh, he realized that Odin was able to travel time by using his eyes, and Mimir had the same kind of eyes. So, when he, when he discovered that his eyes could also make time travel possible then it became a situation where I needed to go and suit up for um, a Hel Hel Helheim and um, that's kind of where the story takes off and you meet uh, the last enemy or the last boss and I'll kind of keep that under wraps until we actually do it so while you're going through uh, this fast motion right here to see exactly what type of armor I put on um, and that should help you uh, throughout your travels uh, so yes um, enjoy uh, these are the weapons that I put on. 
I'm not going to necessarily go through and analyze why I did what, what I did, but for the most part, um, the main goal was to stay rare and to stay leveled up high. And that's the secret to what you've been seeing on my playthrough. <laughs> my playthrough was all about staying rare and staying uh, leveled up high. So, uh, and yes, I did go through some unnecessary portions of the game, but um, I think, uh, shoot, man, without further ado, I'm going to uh, end my portion of the game uh, and uh, let you guys kind of fumble your way throughout the storyline because there's going to be lots and lots and lots and lots of things that happen and you guys don't need me commentating over them. A lot of it explains itself if you've gotten this far into the video. Uh, you should uh, kind of have an understanding of what this game is all about and um, I'm going to uh, basically put a pause on my commentary right here uh, I will uh, do my uh, exits uh, as the game uh, uh, credits is playing but at the same time, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and let you guys kind of see this thing on out, let it ride out. Uh, I think uh, this is probably the last time I'm going to necessarily change my weapons. Uh, and, you know, I guess I could have crafted them for the next boss, but, you know, I think you know the power overwhelms everything right so I'm going to uh, put down the mic right here and I'll see you guys at the very end of this video so um, enjoy It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. this. Oh. 
I can read what this says now. But it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. This is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one who is not trying to eat. We really should expect that sort of response at this point. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing I'm to... not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Huh. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. Bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. The water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. Should we dock on this beach?
think I could. I don't think that ever got close enough, but I feel like it did. Forget something? Come here. Any idea where Odin hid your eye? No. It's not like I can still see through it. Tonight. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yodna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Out. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother.
boy. Oh. Oh. I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel! <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. This again? You have to go! Please! No! I can reach you! You have to stop that! No! Hold me! Ah. 
<laughs> I don't need your help! I can protect myself! Like you protected me? Selfish witch! Mother! This doesn't concern You might want to turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no. Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. Coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. You can't stop me. No one can. Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Don't touch him. This will all be over soon. Oh, my God. 
Andreas! I'm up here! I'm okay! And I'm doing wonderful! I've never felt so alive! Stop this!
both of you. You've done what even the Allfather himself could not. I've never felt more alive!
Interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes. I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. Every realm and 
feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you will be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. And that's about it. Uh, this will probably go down as the longest video ever. <laughs> Even though I've probably seen some video that's been longer. Uh, six hours worth of video is a lot. And, um... So you'd let me kill you? I don't know, I was supposed to do some other stuff today, and then I just gravitated toward this, so... Easy choice. This will be another video that goes up, and hopefully I never make a video this long ever again. I uh, can't promise you, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, you know, with all the edits and with all of the um, cuts that I did to this portion of the game, it still ended up being six hours, man. Uh, but that's not Why did mistletoe break the spell? that's not typical uh that's not um a uh, typical sure thing that witch. doesn't happen i mean definitely I, i've played video games for 8 12 13 hours you know uh, i'm not saying that that's healthy but um yeah you know to be honest with you this is a fun game this is a fun game Overall, I'm going to be doing a review for it. Some may say, well, you pretty much did your review um, in the playthrough, and I beg to differ. Um, basically, my review is going to be a culmination of focuses that I felt like culminated the game. Uh, of course, you can never go over the whole game. You can't review the whole game. That's why we do playthroughs and analysis so we can actually give a impression of the whole game. But with that being said, I do um, believe that 
there is a way to f give a focus to major areas in the game and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to give focuses on areas on the game I can't even talk it's almost 1 in the morning 12 in the morning but uh, I am going to give some uh, focuses on specific things that I felt like this game did well and bad at so be on the lookout for that yes I do know this game is old and yes I do not care <laughs> because I have not done the review and I'm going to do the review in a way and bring out things that have not been talked about so that's why I've been scouring the internet watching interviews with Corey Borlaug and you know trying to um, make sure that the stuff that I'm going to talk about has not been talked about before because we want to stay transformational we want to stay high above the fray and it's a shame that I did not get the uh, last bit that I thought that I had. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if Sony deleted it or <laughs> something happened to that last portion of the game. But I'm not able to give you guys the last portion. Although that is the last bit of gameplay that we have. So anyway, thanks for listening. Uh if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to the channel uh give me a like subscribe to me on twitter this is al from transformational gaming over and out